Welcome to the Blogs for Borders Video Blog Burst, February 20th, 2007. And thanks for joining us as we take a whirlwind tour of illegal immigration news across these United States. This week we learned that Bank of Mexi America expanded its program offering credit cards to illegal aliens. The program recently expanded from five test locations in the Los Angeles area to more than 50 branches. Let's see what a couple of Gen X YouTubers have to say. Um, people are crossing the border and being able to get credit cards. We've got to stand up and we have got to do something about this. This is getting out of hand. They're coming here for quality of life. Why the fuck can't they do it legally? One. Two. They're here illegally. They have no rights. Three. If I can't get a credit card, why the fuck should they? And I'm not going to bank with Bank of America ever in my lifetime because of this shit. But not everyone is taking the news so well. What's next? Okay, what's next? Bank of America is giving out credit cards to illegal immigrants, okay? You don't have to have a social security number. You don't have to have any credit history. You just walk up to the window and ask for it, and they're going to get it, okay? While we appreciate Bob's passion, it doesn't help us solve the problem. Fortunately, the good folks at Alipac are taking the bull by the horns. They have partnered with several anti-illegal immigration groups to form the new website, Bank of America Boycott. On the site, you'll find handy information on how to contact the bank to make your displeasure known, along with a petition you can sign. And of course, we would like to see all patriotic Americans close their accounts and move them to banks that aren't selling out American sovereignty. Though Bank of America declined to give the media a statement, this gentleman was more than willing to go on the record with some very special Bank of America thoughts. And we'll make lots of money forever I can sing about trusting and teamwork and doing the right thing. We'll live out our core values while the competition crawls. Cause they want what we have got But it's only here At Bank of America One Excuse me? Did he say higher standards? We always want to present the reality of dealing with illegal aliens and their supporters. This video is an excellent example. This group of patriotic Americans were protesting against illegal immigration. Their opponents showed their usual lack of class. Then one of the bad guys lost it and started swinging. This dirtbag has the gall to attack American citizens in broad daylight for standing up for this country? What would happen if we ever got serious about deporting them? I got enough on camera for you to go to jail, bitch. You ain't got a knife because he's got a big fucking fat ass mouth. Still think it isn't an invasion? Just try stopping it. The victims, Leanna Newman, 20, eight months pregnant, and her unborn child. The accused, Carlos Alfonso Guillen Martinez, 33, illegal alien from El Salvador. Here's what we know about this scumbag. Twice deported, 
previously arrested under at least six aliases. Prior arrests for DUI, resisting arrest, driving with a revoked license, and assaulting a police officer. Fingerprint matches still needed to determine his full criminal record. The charges. Driving while impaired. Second degree murder. Additional murder charge if determined that the child, baby Cheyenne, was born alive. The story. Martinez was driving erratically and had already been in two fender benders that night before he killed Leanna and baby Cheyenne. And if our government had been doing its job, this jerk wouldn't have been here, and Leanna and Cheyenne would still be alive, making this crime 100% preventable. The victim, Jason Oaken of Arizona, decorated veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom, husband and father of two little girls. The accused, Armando Martinez Lozano, 34, illegal alien. The charges, aggravated assault on three arresting officers and on Oaken, who as of February 14th was comatose and on a ventilator as a result of this unprovoked stabbing attack. The story, Oaken was working in his yard dressed in his uniform, which he often wore around town. Scumbag Lozano entered the yard and said something to Oaken in Spanish. Oaken asked him to leave. Lozano then lashed out with a knife. Wife and family say it was a hate crime. Police say no way. Hate crimes can only be committed by white folks, right? And if our government had been doing its job, this jerk wouldn't have been here, and Jason Oaken's little girls wouldn't have to worry about when or if daddy is coming home making this crime 100% preventable. The victim, Americans who like Chinese vegetable dumplings. The accused, Albert Vidal Torres, 33. The charges, using a fraudulent green card, possessing a fake social security number, and tampering with consumer products, adding goodies like glass, seeds, pebbles, and spit to Golden Crown Foods vegetable dumplings. Although Torres pled not guilty, he allegedly told his employer that he did it in retaliation for the firing of his brother-in-law. And if our government had been doing its job, this jerk wouldn't have been here. And watching what you eat would still be about fit, not spit, making this crime, like all crimes committed by illegal aliens, 100% preventable. a little cheesecake. Not that kind. This kind. Gina Elise of Pinups for Vets is selling a calendar to help the troops and raise their <clears throat> morale. Gina doesn't just sell the calendars though. She also visits our veterans at VA hospitals, bringing her special brand of cheer. The New York Times, the LA Times, the New Yorker, Oprah, Letterman, Leno have all refused to help, and Gina has only moved about 300 calendars so far. We here at Blogs for Borders think it's high time for a little dessert. To get a little cheesecake of your own, go to Pinups for Vets. And don't forget to add an extra slice for one of our brave men in uniform. Here's the latest nationwide news on Patriot efforts to free Ramos and Compion. The Minutemen gathered in Huntington Beach to support the agents. We, the people, demand a full and unconditional pardon for both agents <coughs> and Jose The Philly Patriots prove it doesn't matter if you're four or 400 when it comes to standing up for what's right. Our border patrol agents doing their job are justly prosecuted and sent to prison on the testimony of an illegal alien drug smuggler. Thanks for joining us for our first official Blogs for Borders video blog burst. Remember, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's whether or not you get it on tape. And you can send that footage to us here at the Blogs for Borders video blog burst. Until next week, keep your protest signs high and your videos live.